I'm Duncan Spigman and I'm a co-director of Circumstance and Circumstance is uh, an artist collective. We're based between Brussels, London and Bristol. We say that we try and make cinematic experiences in unexpected environments. To, to be more specific, we, we try and use uh, the narrative of experience. We're, we're constantly trying to put audiences through uh, a physical, a spatial kind of structure and experience that, that creates a story, that creates a way of seeing things. Um, we, we used to say we work in public space, but we, but we don't really show work in galleries or in venues generally. Um, but it, it's not a useful term for us anymore. Um, we, a lot of the things we do tend to deal with this sort of line between real public space and what actually looks like public space but is privately owned. So we, we now talk about making work in uncontrolled spaces, this idea that we need to leave space for the rest of the world to happen. So whenever we're making work, it's, it's trying to frame the world, but we're making sure that we're not controlling everything that goes on in a way. And so that's kind of, that's always a bit exciting for us, that there's, a, there's an element of openness. We use music very heavily for the way, firstly it allows us to say things that we can't say without words. So a lot of the works we're making, the, the core sort of emotional or, you know, intentional content of it, we're putting in through the music. But we also use it as a cinematic tool in the sense of a film soundtrack, partly because it's what audiences understand. There's, a, there's this idea that if you put a pair of headphones on and you look at the world, it feels like a film because it's a big cinema-type soundtrack. So our approach is to use those same techniques to kind of use that feel of cinema but focus it on, on the everyday and focus it on the environment you're already in. So the, the project we got to is called Periphery Songs and um, I, I think it's got a longer title which is a, an ambulant quartet for Hasselt. What we were kind of thinking of was, well, if we want this to be a portrait and using the, the tonality of the voices, we should, um, we should try and capture a, a variety of people. We should try and capture a variety of different ways this, this voice sounds and uh, different approaches to this accent. So a really important part of this project for us is, is writing music around the, um, the tonality of the voice. Uh, the, we, we've kind of, we did some level of um, linguistic study around the, the shape of the voice. And what, what was, I guess what was instantly interesting for us is that you have um, Hessels, you have the true kind of um, authentic dialect, but that's not common in the, in the town at all. But what you do have is you have these modernizations of it and you have versions of it that are influenced by um, the accents like of where someone's immigrated from or um, age as well. So sometimes we might go for very, very small bits of a sentence. Belangrijk om, uh, om, uh, om, uh, om, uh, and just work om, uh, with those little pitch shifts. Om, uh, om, uh, and then and sometimes we'll um, we'll just start a session um, by literally just playing a voice and then we'll just play around it so we'll actually have a, a live performance around it I think that the coming is through bomb and bomb so we'll just leave this playing in the studio and then we'll just all start kind of playing different sounds and textures around it on the What's really interesting for me is that if you, if you start with um, a fragment of the voice and you play it very exactly, so you really sort of follow the shape of what someone's saying. People hear the the melody of the voice. In fact, we've played this to some people and they thought we'd 
changed the voice. They thought we'd artificially made the voice sound like a melody. And we're like, no, 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 that's just the way the speaking actually is, and we're playing along with the voice. But then in the composition, you can move away from that, and it, it sticks in your ears. You know, you can still hear the connection with that initial tone, and then you can sort of move back towards it and away again. And it allows us to be very... Um, be very expressive with the music, and yet knowing that it's really tied into this this acoustic sense of people's voices, and that's for us. That's a it's a really exciting thing to do because we haven't worked like that before. Our our music approach has always been, um, uh, I guess, very gut level. We'll we'll sketch music first, and then we'll go to the streets and we'll listen to it in the streets, and that will be our inspiration. This time, we've gone the other way. We've started with the interview material, and we, that's where we started with the music. And then we take it back into the streets, and we see what works and what doesn't. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a really interesting change for us.